This is the story of Blinky Bill and Flap and Nutsy too. And Wombo, Ruff and Marcia and Sports the Kangaroo. Now they all live in Green Patch Town as happy as can be. With friends and neighbours all around, the same as you and me. But it's not always fun and games for Blinky and his crew. Disasters shouldn't happen, but alas, they sometimes do. There's mysteries and secrets out there amongst the trees. And nobody needs enemies when you've got friends like these. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, you'll never catch him standing still. Life is pretty boring till you've met Blinky Bill. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, our cheeky mate from Green Patch Hill. If you don't know him, you soon will. Good old Blinky Bill. So come and see what happens next to Blinky and his friends But ten to one you'll never guess the way the story ends Our little mischief maker, the one who never fails Enjoy his great adventures in these new exciting tales Hey hey Blinky Bill, you'll never catch him standing still Life is pretty boring till you've met Blinky Bill Hey hey Blinky Bill, our cheeky mate from Green Patch Hill If you don't know him you soon will, good old Blinky Which is my command. Oh. I'll find huh? something better than gum leaves. Shifty, come back! Oh, it's all your fault if he gets lost. Why is it my fault? Because that dingo will do anything you say. Yeah, he's nuts about you, Nutsy. Look, Shifty's coming back and he's carrying some balls. Well, maybe he's not nuts about you, Nutsy. Maybe he's just plain nuts. These are apples, Flap. Where did you find them, Shifty? I bet he stole them. Blinky, he stole them? Haven't we told you not to steal? You just take them right back where you got them from. Blinky, you don't know that he stole them? Course I do. He's a sneaky dingo. Yeah, dingoes always steal. And I suppose koalas and kangaroos don't steal. <laughs> well, um... Well, um <laughs> I didn't steal the apples, Nutsy. I found them lying on the ground. I tried to please you, but you're all just being horrible. Yes, and it's not fair. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Yeah, well, I guess I believe you, Shifty. Yeah, me too. Now, can we go and not steal some more? Wow! Apples for days! But what about the humans? We can deal with a few humans. Now, Blinky, don't go starting any trouble. I won't. I just want more apples. <coughs> Dogs! No sense in all of us going down to get the apples. Um, only one of us should go. Hey, I'll go. Huh? Oh, uh, remember, Shifty, just take the apples that are already on the ground. <coughs> Don't go to sleep. What if Shifty gets into trouble? That's okay. I'll keep watch. The only thing he's going to watch is the inside of his eyelids. <laughs> Good morning, 
funny, fellas. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Don't tell me you finally spotted the apple thief. It's about time. He's been stealing us blind for weeks. Aha! A dingo! Hey, Dad! Huh? Dad! I found the thief who's been stealing the apples every night. Oh, good. Who is it? A local? A stranger? A big guy? Is it a little guy? Well, uh, no. Well, what sort of a man did you see? I didn't see a man. Well, you said you saw the man who's been stealing our apples. I said I saw the thief who's been stealing our apples. It isn't a man, Dad. It's a dingo. Now listen, son. I know you really want to help me, but you must know how silly it is to make up stories like this. It only wastes my time and yours. But it's true. I did see a dingo. He's got a red and white bundle and he's filling it with apples. Have a look for yourself. Dingoes don't steal apples. Dingoes don't even eat apples. Well, I can't see a dingo. Not one with a red and white bundle. But I can see a dingo with a blue party dress on. What? <laughs> <laughs> see how silly it sounds? Well, the dogs know it's true. Have one more look, please, Dad. Oh, once more, then. Look, I don't want to hear any... Huh? It is a dingo. A dingo stole my apples. What are you going to do? We're going to set traps for our furry friend. Did I do right, Dad? Son, you're the apple of my eye. <laughs> Dark, I'll sneak down and get more apples. And then we'd better leave. <sighs> but I hate to leave all these apples. What are those uh, humans oh. doing? <laughs> it looks as if they're tying up the trees. <laughs> oh, I reckon they're making spider webs. Human webs. What would humans catch in a web? Well, unless he's very careful, when he goes back for apples, they might catch Shifty. Now, bring your end over here. <sighs> Thanks, son. That's the last bit. Now, stand back and I'll turn it on. I'll just check to make sure it's working. Isn't an electric fence a bit hard on the dingo? Now, look, it won't really hurt him. It'll just make him realise that stealing is a shocking crime. <laughs> Humans have gone. Oh, good. Then I'll go and get some more apples. And I need your, your hanky to carry them in. Uh, thanks. Be careful of those ropes and things. Don't worry. I'm a sneaky dingo, remember? Oh, do you think he'll be all right? Cause he will. He's a dingo. He's missed all the traps, Dad. No, and he's even missed the big net. He's gonna avoid the electric wire. <laughs> I've got him. Oh, poor Shifty. Steal my apples, would you? I wouldn't mind if you just took a few, but I've been losing six or eight crates a night. So, it's off to the zoo with you in the morning. Oh, but Dad, can't we just let him go tomorrow? Nope, he'd be back to his old tricks in no time at all. Yeah, but... but... No buts, son, you just can't trust a dingo. Listen, 
We've got to make a plan. I'll kick the door in. I'll dig under it. I'll squeeze through the crack. Yeah, no, no, wait, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Let's get a little organised here. Yes. Now, what are we best at? Uh, eating? Sleeping? I think we work best as a team. Righto. Then... You weren't scared, were you, Mafia? Of course not. Good. Then you won't mind putting it back when we've let Shifty out. Oh, yeah. Oh. Here, Nazi. Can you reach? I, I think so. See? We can do anything. We're the smartest, toughest, bravest, boldest... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, help me get him out. Why, it's not real. No, but it might come in handy to scare the dogs. Well, don't worry. Spudge is taking care of them. Not really. The dogs are already busy eating a big bone. So let's get out of here before they finish. No, I want to clear my name first. You what? They accused me of stealing all the apples. But it was the other humans who did it. 
other humans? Yeah, they're in that big shed stealing lots of apples right now. Good. Then we leave by a different way. But then I won't be able to prove I'm, I'm innocent. Hmm, that's right. So what? Let's go. No, no, think. Who are they going to blame if we're not here? The other humans, perhaps. After all, they are the thieves. No, they'll blame the animals that do live here. The possums, the, the wallabies, the poor old bandicoots and, and wombats. They'll hunt them down and put them in the zoo. Now, is that fair? No. No, it's not fair. And we're going to do something about it. So many apples. Von the not is. Not if we scatter a lot around and take bites out of some. <laughs> and leave them as clues. I see. They will think animals did it. They're kangaroos, dingoes, koalas. Yeah, they'll be searching the bush while we're selling this lot in town. What? Oh, no. Oh, the nerve of them. We've got to do something. Yeah, but what? Well, if we could just get the dogs to see these thieves, they'd catch them for us. Well, that's easy done. Well, I can do that. Yeah, but... But Blinky... Shh. But the dogs... Shh. Are... What about the dogs? Look, they're in with the crooks. Ah, oh, the rotten apples. They get paid off in bones. Hey, dogs. Bitch! <laughs> 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 Nice doggies. Nice doggies. Oh, dear. I don't believe it. Oh, what? Oh, what? Well, that didn't work. True, but Splodge was very brave. Did I really see that? A kangaroo trying to steal a dog's bone? You sure did. Lucky for us, too. He left his footprints everywhere. Bitten apples and roo prints. Yeah, it looked like a roo stole the apples. Ha 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 ha! No, let's get out of here. Yeah, just a few more apples and then we hit the road. Did you hear that? Now they're going to blame Splodge. And they're getting ready to leave. We've got to do something. But if the dogs won't bark, how are the humans going to catch the thieves? We'll wake them up. How? Well, they won't wake up for the dogs, but they'll wake up for us. Why? Because we'll make them an offer they can't ignore. One. Two. Three. Wake up! Wake up! Cheeky little devils. Come on, son, we'll fix them. Quick, Splodge, the dogs are coming. Yeah, yeah, dog, yeah. <laughs>
Nice doggies. Oh, oh. Nice doggies. Ow, oh, ow. Morning already. I'm so stiff. I went running last night. Yeah. I might be hungry. Oh, hungry or not, I just want to get far away from here. Well, I'm glad we helped the apple farmer. Yeah, at least the local animals won't get the blame. <laughs> or us. But you'd think he might have at least thanked us. But that's humans for ya. Yeah, where do you think they are, son? <laughs> <laughs> They're hiding in those bushes, Dad. Good. Well, let's put it down here, son. Do you think they'll like it? Well, I hope so. After the good turn they did us, they deserve a reward. Now, let's see. Eucalyptus cakes for the koalas. Carrots for the kangaroo. And the marsupial mouse will eat this. And a pie for the dingo. Fancy me blaming him when it was two humans all along. And this is for the platypus. Do you think platypus is like cakes? Huh? <laughs> Extraordinary. Yahoo, did you eat too? Blinky Bill and all his crew. Nutsy Flap and Marsha too. And Spudge the Kangaroo. Rudge the Kangaroo. Rudge the Kangaroo. Excursion time. Miss Magpie said. We'll have a lovely day. We're going on a bushwalk. Young Blinky yelled. Hooray! You do, said Splodge. Going to take a compass and a map. And I'll bring the essential, <laughs> like chocolate cake, said Flap. Yahoo! Did you eat too? Blinky Bill and all his crew. Nutsy Flap and Marsha too. And Splodge the kangaroo. Splodge the kangaroo. Splodge the kangaroo. They wandered down an old bush tracker, twisting and a turning, then crawled up on the bank and fell exhausted on the grass. An unfamiliar landscape stretched round them far and wide, and Flappy nearly fainted. We're completely lost! He cried. You want to know what happened? Then keep watching and you'll see. Here comes the next adventure of Blinky Bill. Blinky Bill! Blinky Bill. That's me! Yahoo! Did you do? Blinky Bill and all his crew. Nutsy Flap and Marsha too. And Spodge the Kangaroo. Spodge the Kangaroo. Spodge the Kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs>